right now in Sheikh Jaha in Palestine, in occupied Pal Palestine. Uh, there are current protests and clashes, clashes with the police and the IDF, which are like one and the same in, in Israel, so-called Israel, um, are currently evicting Palestinians from their homes and violently occupying, and settlers are violently occupying and overtaking people's homes at this very moment as I speak, as I record, and protests against this are nonviolent, largely, except for all nonviolent protests become violent when police and the violence of the state gets involved. So people are being brutalized. Um, and I think that I just wanted to start off this video for like my literal, you know, like booktube channel to talk about that because it is something that has been continually suppressed on social media, on Facebook owned platforms, uh, Palestinians and pro-Palestine activists and uh, people who speak on these issues on their platforms have been posting about Sheikh Shara and it, it's been being taken down and censored and disappearing. And I think that that is a clear example of the ways that a settler colonial state and empire and corporations and tech industries that collide with and, and support and are upheld by the imperialist capitalist state um, are, these things are deeply related. And especially as someone who's like speaking on a social media platform, using a social media platform to talk about books and like, you know, generally like, I guess like silly media things. I wanted to bring that up. Um, and especially because since this is my Asian Readathon TBR video for what I'm reading in May, I was going to bring that up initially because I am definitely going to be reading The Hundred Years War on Palestine, A History of Settler Colonialism and Resistance from 1917 to 2017 by Rashid Khalidi. And this book is one that you guys wanted me to read in my last month's um, TBR Choose What I Read video. And I think it's just really important for me and for everyone else to really familiarize ourselves with history that isn't fed to us by these social media empires and moguls that are profit seeking um, and fundamentally rooted in the interests of the imperial core and settler colonial states such as the United States of America so-called and um, particularly Israel. So this book is going to be really important for me to read this month. Something that really frustrates me about the nature of social media and the outrage cycle is how when something really bad happens or tragedy strikes or something bad occurs, we are kind of expected to perform outrage. But once the event happens and all the brutality has been done, what do you do then? oftentimes like signing petitions and stuff or like raising money for like organizations or um, these like vague sort of ideas and, and statements because ultimately these other companies and these other nonprofits and other people are kind of utilizing the outrage around something um, and the cycle of outrage to profit themselves and and monetarily benefit and I think that's really gross um, and I also think that you know settler colonial governments do not give a fuck about what their people think or what people think period even though they call themselves a democracy in a capitalist world bourgeois democracies are all just shells for capitalism as Lenin said in state and revolution which you should read i think that's really important for people to read um anyways there's just not enough people talking about it. not to be like why is nobody talking about this and not to fuel that industrial complex the why is nobody talking about this industrial complex but it's like the settler colonialism in palestine that's been going on since literally 1917 is not talked about because it doesn't serve the cultural um, agenda of upholding an imperialist settler state and i think that because they're so limited knowledge from people who are basically getting all of their understanding of world politics through either social media infographics or like articles that they read as opposed to 
a holistic framework and uh, and coherent and cohesive understanding of history it's really like sad to see people have no people don't have critical thinking skills or the knowledge base to engage with things and in an important way in in a way that is very crucial right now so yeah anyways i just wanted to start off the video by talking about Sheikh Shara. And also, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I tried to look up the pronunciation, but, you know. But I, let's talk about the other books I'm going to read this month, I guess. Um, we're already yeah, like a week into May or something, so I've already started a couple other books that I want to read for the Asian Readathon. I am currently reading Confessions by Mene Tanako. I actually have do not remember what the author's name is sorry it's translated from japanese and it is a thriller about these middle schoolers who killed a teacher's daughter and like the aftermath of that i'm only like maybe one fifth into it but i'm enjoying it so far i think it's very dark and twisted and interesting and it's writing um but yeah so that's on my TBR. I hope to finish that within this week. Another book that I definitely will be reading this month is The Best We Could Do by T. B. Uh, this book is a graphic novel. I've heard nothing but good things about this from multiple people and I think it is ultimately I think a memoir or a graphic a graphic novel memoir or, or auto fiction um, about Vietnamese refugees um, and part of the Asian Readathon prompt is reading from various ethnicities and nationalities so you'll see that within the books i'm talking about as well so this is one i'm definitely going to get to because i know graphic novels are easier and faster for me to get through and it will be it will be good i'm sure of it because a lot of people love this book but i don't really hear that much hype or i don't really hear people talk about it i mean a lot of graphic novels don't really get that much hype or like it aren't really talked about Okay, anyways, so yeah, that's that's a book that I'm definitely reading this month. Another book that I'm definitely reading this month is Interior Chinatown by Charles Yu. I'm like 20% of the way through this book via audiobook. It's pretty short. It's a pretty short book. I know it doesn't seem like it when I'm holding it up, but it's because it's written in like screenplay format almost. And it's about, it's set in a Chinatown and it kind of is, a f it uses the framing device of a script to talk about the ways that um, working class Asian American people and Chinese people in America are constantly pushed as the side character within their own stories um, and utilizing these tropes that we find in media oftentimes like you know the dragon lady the Asian dragon lady or you know the old elderly Asian woman or the kung fu guy um, and our main character in this book is a man who desperately wants to be the kung fu guy but isn't like cool enough to basically that's about how much I know about this so far but I'm excited to get through the rest of this and also something that's important is that me and Steffi from Perks of Steph are reading this book for the month of May and uh, doing our live show on it towards the end of the month. I know that last month we said that we were going to do one on we were on how beautiful we were by Mbulu Mwenbwe, but we both did not really like the book. <laughs> so we just didn't do it. And also I got a concussion and we just didn't have the energy or commitment to try to finish and discuss a book that neither of us were really enjoying. Hopefully, I mean, I know for a fact that me and Steph will be able to finish this and discuss this at some point in this month. Now we are moving into books that are ones that I could read from this month, but you as my audience get to pick which book I read. It's like a choose choose my TBR situation. I know Grace from GK Reads does this a lot. She'll do videos where you comment down below the book that you want her to read the most. And so I have a selection of three books here with me um, for books that you guys can choose uh, which one you really want me to read. The first book I have here is Pachinko by Min Jin Lee. I've heard nothing but good things about this and I love generational stories about families over time and the trauma and legacy of colonialism um, and the violence of that and I think that 
this book I've heard does a really good job of talking about people and families and these their lives and the book is just really good from what I've heard so this is one that I'm considering getting to this month but it's obviously a really thick book so if I want to get to it I need to like prioritize getting it getting to this now oh also another thing about the choose my tbr thing and picking you guys picking the books that i read is that interior chinatown was on my tbr choose my tbr video last month and this by far won the most votes i think so instead of reading it in the month of april i instead you know chose this for the book club with stuff so if that makes sense so yeah pachinko is option one option two for you guys is parachutes by kelly yang kelly yang is a survivor and she was a harvard law student when she was sexually assaulted i think she was an international student um and her title nine case um and and her story is very tr sad tragic and and very powerful and i think that her experiences going through that informs this story which is about a chinese american girl and a chinese international student who comes to live with her and those students are called parachutes um the like wealthy chinese students from the mainland coming to the u.s to get an education basically i think this is a ya contemporary it's a hard-hitting ya contemporary and i i do believe it deals with themes of sexual violence and sexual assault so you know be careful going into this but this is a book that i've been meaning to read for genuinely since it came out since i heard that this book was a thing what's been holding me back from getting through this is that why contemporaries and particularly hard-hitting why contemporaries just really don't hit me the same as they did when i was younger and reading them and they were the primary books that i read now they just uh, they just don't get me emotionally in the same way and i kind of feel this like dread picking them up but if enough people want really want me to read this and plus i own it already and i've wanted to read this like you know bully me into reading this and the last option for you guys for my tbr is chemistry by uh, wei k wong uh this book i think is about the daughter of chinese immigrants who is getting a phd or something she's like doing some stem girl boss shit and she doesn't really know what she wants to do with her life and she's just unsure about what she wants and whether she's doing what she wants or what her parents want and like kind of grappling with that and i think this is an adult literary fiction so if this is a book that you want me to pick up this month uh let me know if it's parachutes let me know or if it's pachinko let me know i might even get to all three of these on top of um, these books that I have to read. So that's my TBR video for today. So that's my TBR for today. There are other books on my TBR that I have checked out digitally through my library, through the Libby and Hoopla app, and also through my subscription at Scribd. There are some books that I have checked out through those that I tweeted screenshots of those a while, a couple days ago. I just don't want to go pull them all up because there's a good chance I won't even get to some of them or most of them. Those are my tentative TBR plans. Uh, the books that I talked about today, ones that I said I was definitely going to read, I'm definitely going to read. The books that I want you to choose for me, you can choose for me and then I'll read that one. And then there's the other miscellaneous books that are on my TBR currently. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe. <laughs> comment like you know all that stupid bullshit if you want to keep up with me on social media you can also do that in my description box once again if you want to listen to my podcast where me and my best friend renaissance talk about everything from astrology to books to tv shows that she makes me watch to <laughs> movies that i make them watch i would recommend you check it out it's called the lavender menace uh, we're on spotify finally that's all i have for you today thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next video bye